Lucas here once again for YouTube, and I have some amazing and awesome, exciting news. Cydia Installer and Cydia Substreet are being updated once again, and this is the big thing. 1.1.15 has been released of the Cydia Installer, and I'm going to be telling you some of the major and awesome fixes. Now, you may notice that I am not on iOS 8 yet. I am on iOS 7.1.2. But after I just saw this, I'm going to be updating to iOS 8 as soon as this is being updated. The changes in Cydia is that the biggest problem was that reboot loop in iOS 8 that has been going all over the buzz on uh, so social media. Cydia no longer causes your device to lock up while booting on iOS 8 when you use a passcode or Touch ID. Under Settings, go to Touch ID and Passcode and turn Passcode on. It will not get you in that reboot loop, which is awesome. Also, multitasking support. So before, when you exit out of Cydia, it had to, re it had to load again. But now that doesn't do that anymore. As you see, City Now Background is almost like a regular application. It's only on iOS 8, though. This has been a major architectural change. Please alert us to any issues. So this has allowed you to switch back and forth between City and other applications, Safari, Google, other, etc., without losing your package selection state. Also, another big complaint about Cydia re uh, recently was that some repositories suddenly redirect to the App Store. I can give you one source that was doing that. That was the XSLIZE repo. That will not happen anymore. Um, they now block the pop-ups and asks the user before opening the App Store. Now, partial iPhone 6 Plus support. You can now rotate it into landscape mode on the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6. Video works again. There was an issue with City on, on iOS 7.1 um, where playing video would cause the device to lock up. I did have this problem. This bug has finally been fixed. A new iOS 8 video. The new iOS 8 video issue, the YouTube error message, is also fixed. Localization works now, and so much more. Known issues specific to iOS 8 when installing packages that put icons on Springboard. The icons may not appear. Rebooting might make them appear. This is because our UI catch tool, which refreshes icons, has not yet been updated for iOS 8. So this will not... this, But this is a big change, and I recommend actually now jailbreaking. But, not today. After this video, I am going to update that. And I'm going to update also City of Substrate is being updated again for another update to 0 0.9.5016. Fixes the bugs report on iOS 8 with 5.0.1.3. Clean apps do not stall, iTunes does not sync, and icons are gone. This issue sometimes led to the device being unable to boot without disabling, disabling Substrate, holding down the volume up. And it fixes the bug where some processes, including OpenSSH, would not longer will no would no longer start. Also, if you've updated the Pangu 8.0 and 8.0 until the version 2, you no longer need to respring after rebooting. This untether update fixes an issue that caused Substrate to not fully load into many processes immediately after rebooting. So that's another big fix. And Substrate version 5.0.1.3, 0.9.5013, .0 sorry, supports iOS 8, but because of limitation Pangu. Substrate won't work immediately after the device boots. It only works after the first respring. You can respring by SSHing to your device and typing kill all backboard. But anyways, you can. Soric has done an awesome job updating City and Solar City of Substrate. And as you can see, there is an update if you have this tweak equalizer everywhere. But this do not. I would not jailbreak just yet. I have just received confirmation on Twitter. I'm going to show you from the Pangu team Twitter page. And this is what their tweet says. We plan to release 
Pangu 1.1 in 24 hours with Cydia bundled and English support if everything goes well today. Please be patient. Thanks. So, in the next 24 hours, Cydia will be bundled into the jailbreak and you don't have to do that or no more SSHing and all that. That will be amazing if everything goes well to, uh, today and that will be out in the next 24 hours, which is amazing, and when that happens, I will do another video and tell you that this is on, it is, the update has been, um, has been released, and once I'm done that video, I'm going to update directly to iOS 8. So this is some big news from the Pangu team and Cydia, thanks to Sorik and the Pangu team, this has been amazing updates for Cydia and Pangu. But that doesn't mean uh, all tweaks are compatible with iOS 8 yet. I'm just going to take a quick look and take a quick look at the um, iOS 8. I found a spreadsheet. Okay. Now, this has been updated. Activator, as you can see, has been updated. It is now working with iOS 8. Also, a lot of other stuff has, is now working. App List ha is now working with iOS 8. Also, um, unfortunately, some of them still do not work. Like, my favorite is the Blurred Music app. That does not work yet. It does still crash. So unfortunately, I cannot get that, and I cannot get Display Recorder either. So I'm going to have to find something else to do my videos on. But, unfortunately, Icon Support is up. By the way, one of the biggest things is Icon Support. It is partially working. It works, but will not install from Cydia, because it depends iOS firmware 8 and below. So, it's saying partial, but I don't, I think that's a no. But, so, that's why maybe a lot or a um, few are still not working. But Activator has been completely working now. That was just updated. So, here's the, that was my video on the, on the iOS 8 updates for Cydia, um, installer, the Pangu updates. That's going to be happening in the next 24 hours. So do, I wouldn't jailbreak until that update comes out, as the reboot loop will be fixed. So I hope you like this video. I hope it gives you a lot of information on what's going on. Thanks to the Pangu team I get, and Sorik. Prompts to you both for making this happen, these updates. It will help out all the jailbreakers um, not have any more problems. And this will be an amazing update, and I will update to iOS 8 once these updates are out. But anyways, this was my video on uh, the pan on the updates for Cydia and Pangu. I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if this gave you a lot of information, and subscribe for more videos on tweaks, jailbreaks, and now iOS 8 tweaks. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about the updates, please comment below in the comments, and I will answer them. ASAP. This has been Lucas, and we will see you next time. Peace.